You see that his head is blue. As soon as I take off one of the charges. How ridiculous is that? Can I give it a cast out here? Not too far. Here he is. Definitely, he might be foul hooked. Let's hit him up. Woo! With Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch him up. Guys, what we have here is an animated lure. I have shown this on the channel before, but this thing is bigger and better. Last time I used a much smaller one and the hooks were a little bit too delicate for the bigger fish that are down here in South Florida. So we went up a size and we're gonna try to catch something a little bit bigger today. So I have this one charging. This one's in the packaging. Check this out. This is how it charges. Red, black, positive, negative top and bottom so that's it you can if you look really closely there's a blue light here i'm not sure if you can notice that on camera but you can see that his head is blue as soon as i take off one of the charges this bad boy is back to normal so this plugs in to any usb you could even put it in the car you could do it anything any of your little blocks your iphone your samsung all that so here is the lure we're going to leave this one over here let that bad boy charge in a minute but this is the lure by itself as you guys can see, it has a little propeller right there. And we're gonna take it outside and give it a test, come on. All right, we're gonna show a pool demonstration in a minute, just for those who haven't seen this thing in action. But I just wanna show you guys how we're gonna rig this bad boy up really quickly, and then we're gonna get right into the fish. Because we've actually had a lot of Paku that have been biting rattle traps. My friend Danos came over here, and he was catching these Paku back to back on rattle traps, which is a swim bait that's similar to this, but it's not jointed. So I feel like this might be able to catch a Paku. If not, maybe a snook, maybe a largemouth. I'm going with a little bit heavier line, just in case a giant Paku does come or a snook or something a little bit bigger. So we're going 20 pound test and we got 30 pound leader. I also don't want to lose this lure. It's very valuable. Although it's not too expensive for something that's literally an animatronic, an animated lure. It's so cool, okay? Just gonna go ahead and tie this up. Nothing crazy. Pretty sure any knot would do just fine. You don't have to do any special knots, anything like that. This is a very rare lure and the fact that you're gonna put a bobber on this lure so it swims around. So what I'm gonna do to show you guys first is I'm gonna put it really, really shallow so I can show you a pool demonstration of what this bad boy looks like, okay? Come on right over here. So you're gonna cast this thing out. It's gonna go right into the depths, right? Boom, right here, boom. Let's say that's the cast. Now check it out. It's gonna, give it a second, give it a second. I think it's seven to 12 seconds. I'm not sure how long it was, but we're just gonna show live. Nice and tight on that. Look at that, look at that. How ridiculous is that? Remember, this is a lure. This is not alive. Zoom into that thing, doing its thing. That is ridiculous. So, it has a charge that lasts quite a long time. As you can see, that's as real as it gets. So let's go see what happens. Let's give it a little bit more room and see how it performs. Okay, same thing. We're pretending I'm casting this thing way out there. Boom. Now it's sinking a little bit deeper. Okay, let's see how it acts. Real time, guys, real time, boom. See, with a little bit more room, it does a little bit more movement. So if you guys give it like three feet little around that from the bobber, it'll be just fine. So, this is ridiculous. Uh-oh, hold on a second, guys. Uh-oh, there's a little frog right here at the tip of my rod. Save him. Hold on, hold on, buddy, hold on. Ah, there's an alligator coming, watch out. Oh yeah, look at that, <laughs> look at that. Holding on tight. That's how you know I've been messing with this rod for a long time, oh no. Come here, buddy. You gotta save the animals. Look at that little guy, trying to jump to his death again. He almost was sacrificed, come on, buddy. Hopefully that's not a cane toad, it probably is, but I don't like killing things for no reason, so be free. Let's go ahead and take a cast with this thing and see what we can catch. But check this out. Just gonna give it a cast out here, not too far. Probably we catch these Paku on their remote control boat. Give it a second. Once we see that bobber doing its thing, you never know. We were catching these Paku, oh yeah, on artificials before 
just back to back, but without the cat food there at all. So, I don't see any right now. I do have the Waterland sunglasses, which you can see right to the bottom. You can get them in a the link below, catch them for 15% off. My boys are the best. So, here's what it looks like with them. Here's what it looks like without them. And there's Paku in here, as you can clearly see with the Waterland shades. So hopefully, these guys are still out here. I feed them all the time. And hopefully we can get some to bite. We're just gonna sit here for a while. Look, look it's actually swimming the bobber out. And hopefully we get a nice bite. Come on, 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 come on. We got one, guys. He's over to the left. We're not sure what it is, but it's, I'm feeling Pakui. Here's the bobber. It's fighting like a Paku for sure. Oh yeah, here he is. Definitely, he might be foul hooked. Straight, hold on. Oh yeah, look, look, oh, oh! Come on, oh he's barely hooked, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. The net's right behind you. Sebastian, can you grab the net for me? Head up, head up. This is basically wire, straight to the hook. This way we're able to really manhandle this fish. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There's a big large muff bass down here. I'm gonna have to go down there. I don't I know this is gonna get spooked as soon as I put this net near him. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let the weeds calm you down. Here it is. Here it is. Now the only thing is with the treble hooks. <laughs> we can't whoop. Come on. Treble hooks are out. Oh crap. Look, the treble hooks are in the net. Oh, we lost one. Oh, he came off. Because I slipped, I almost broke my leg. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, look at this. Hold on. Go, go wide. Go over there. Go. Over. Let me show you. I bleed? No. I almost bust myself. I'm gonna show you guys this. Because it looks like this was the hook that was in the fish. I'm not sure where that hook is. The hook is still in his mouth. Damn, he got torn up. So the hook stayed in his mouth, but when I fell. Oh, when I fell, oh God, we really whooped this thing. Hook is bent out. That's what Paku do. That's what Paku do. Especially when you put the heat on him like I just did. It took us a while to get this stinking camera on, but when we finally did get it on, this, we definitely taught this thing a lesson. That's the thing with trebles is that when you're working with nets, it's a little bit annoying. Let's not get stabbed by this. I'm gonna put this right over here. But check this out, guys. Just like I thought, the Paku, which are omnivores, are absolutely ridiculous. The lures, lures pretty good. I don't see any bite marks that I can see but the hooks are bent out with this type of fish. I don't think with a largemouth bass that this fish would get messed up. <laughs> Broke his face on the rocks though. But not a bad fish, huh? Not a bad fish on an artificial lure. Not a live bait. Not a bad fish. So we're gonna put this guy away. Come on. Come on over here, watch your feet with that, with that lure. Oh my God. Guys, you have to take your time with a lure like this. Pull them out in the sun. There you go. Pretty fish, huh? Yeah. I'm sorry for dropping you, buddy. <laughs> I broke my leg too. But anyway. I'm gonna keep you, he'll be just fine. We'll figure it out in a second. 
We got now we have three Paku in there. We're gonna have to move them around. Oh my God. Those Paku put up quite the fight every single time, no matter what. But that was definitely one of the easier fights because I didn't have to worry about the line being in his mouth. I whooped that thing in. That's probably the fastest Paku whoop I've ever whooped. And it was a smaller size on straight 20 to 40 with no, no amount of line in the teeth. I knew it was going straight to the hook because there's no way a Paco can swallow this whole thing. That thing got whooped. Oh, it did, it did mess up a little bit of the tail with his teeth, but not too bad. Let me show you guys what it looks like when a Paku grabs your lure and thrashes it. We don't know how many Paku or what actually happened down there, but look at this. Look at that, how bent out is that? Completely bent out. So what could have happened, what probably happened is the first Paku grabbed it because when I first felt the weight, the weight was just super heavy. So I think we might've had two fish on here. Yeah, look, look. If you look really closely, you can see the bite marks right here, clean. So we were actually hooked on the back, right? We probably had two fish at one point fighting each other and burning each other out because this hook is way too perfectly bent out, straight right angle. That is bent out all the way and that is a pretty solid hook. The bigger, the bigger lures are pretty solid. Now we put this thing through the ringer. I think that we had two Paku on with teeth and I think the back one is the one that we ended up catching and I think this one was a bigger one and bent out. And I think the bigger one was actually dragging it around the smaller one at one point. But we still have our, we still have our lure. We still have our bobber. Only thing is this does come with extra propellers. As you guys can see, this one did pop off. But I mean, that's crazy. Like we literally had two Paku on ripping this lure in half and it still did pretty good. And this is what matters. The O-rings, that, that's what was getting ripped off. Yeah, for sure. Look, look at this. Look at the O-ring right here. We had two Paku on. This is like shredded. This was a perfectly, perfectly new lure. This was too big, big Paku. One was probably, who knows? We've caught 50 pound Paku on this channel. It could be. We caught one even back there, cast to catch. So, I mean, it wasn't like bread or anything where you know you're gonna get something. And I was really hoping we would, but I wish we had like a camera down there to see what actually happened. But guys, stay tuned for the next episode. This lure is absolutely amazing. It does work. And the bigger one is actually better because the hooks are a lot stronger. So stay tuned for the next episode. I'll put the link for this so you guys know what it is in the link below. And the link for the glasses, 50% off, code catch them. Like I said, if you want to see some Paku, get some glasses, get some big old fish, man. Guys, stay tuned for the next episode and catch them all. Catch them all. We got the camera to see what happens. Come on. Underwater drone camera. Next video is coming in hot. Come on. Let's see what happens. Catch them up. Woo!